Thank you for joining this lesson. We're going to discuss errors and approximations. The radius of a sphere was corrected to one decimal place as 3.5 centimeters. Taking pi as 22 out of 7, find part A, the surface area of the sphere. We should know that surface area of the sphere is usually given by 4 pi r squared, where r is the radius of the circle. So 4 times a pi of 22 out of 7 times a radius of 3.5 squared. This computed is going to give us, we have 4, 22 out of 7 multiplied by 3.5 squared. This is giving us exactly 154 square centimeters. Then to continue with the question now, we're being told in part B to also find the percentage error in calculating the surface area of the sphere. Therefore, we're supposed to know something. This radius has some limits into which it was recorded. So 3.5 has been recorded to an accuracy of one decimal place and the absolute error in the recording is 0 0.1. So when we divide the absolute error, okay, the accuracy is one decimal place, which means 0 0.1, divided by 2 gives us the absolute error in the recording of this radius, which is 0 0.05. So when we add or subtract the absolute error, in the recording of any dimension, that gives us the limits within which the recording was done. So we need to subtract or add 0 0.05 to this value to get the range of the radius. And this is going to be 3.45 up to 3.55 centimeters. So this is the range of the radius. Now with the range of the radius, we need to calculate what we call maximum area and minimum area because actual area has been obtained. So area minimum is going to be 4 pi r squared. So area minimum, we use the minimum radius 3.45 this is going to give us 4 by 22 out of 7 multiplied by 3.45 squared. This is going to be 149.63. This is to two decimal places. Square centimeters. Then now we also obtain area maximum pi r. Okay, 4 pi r squared. So the r is going to be the maximum r now. 3.55 squared. So this is going to give us 4 by 22 over, over 7 multiplied by 3.55 squared. So 5, 5 squared will give us 158.5. Square centimeters. So with maximum area and minimum area, we we need to get now what we call what we call uh, the absolute error in the computation of the area. And absolute error is usually calculated by area maximum, which is fifteen. Okay, 158, sorry, 0.43 minus area minimum, 149.63 divided by 2. So this is going to give us, when we subtract 149.63 from 158.43, we're going to have, then we divide by 2, sorry. We're going to have 4.4004 
this is uh, to four decimal places then we need what we call relative error which is usually given by the working area which is the actual area 154 divided by absolute error which is 4.4007 4, 0, 0, and this is going to give us when we take 154 and we divide by that figure we're going to get uh -huh. sorry for this relative error is usually given by working area which is actual area okay absolute error sorry we need absolute error divided by working area that will give us absolute error therefore when we divide one okay 4.4007 with 154 this will give us 0 0.02858 to 4SF then now we need what we call percentage error percentage error which is given by relative error times 100 so this figure multiplied by 100 will give us 2.858 percent so that is how we work out the question on errors thank you for following subscribe and share